So hello my dear brudas and boys, after a month since Ukrainian update was uploaded, I will finally record it. And inspiration has finally came to me, so today we are going to play as the Kingdom of Ukraine. And we are gonna make Hetman great again. So with that being said boys, let's start our campaign, and as always, enjoy. Our kingdom. Well, I dislike idea of kingdom, we need to build a real one Ukrainian hetmanate, but Shane Merla Ukraina. The hetman, the based man who rules Ukraine. The role of the hetman of Ukraine, the permanent Pavlo Skarpatsky, in domestic and foreign policy is very great. Zginut nashi varagi jak rasa na sonci. The king, bruh, Austrian puppet, Austrian lapdog, and of course we are the breadbasket of Europe, and we need to do something with that, cause now we are selling our products for a very low prices, so that's need that needs to be fixed. We have become truly a breadbasket of Europe, based. The king opens the session of Soim, as useless as it could be, because Ukrainian king is a useless man. Ukraine doesn't need to have a king, because Ukraine is a state of free people. If I do something wrong, I'll admit it, but you don't forgive me, I don't have a very good Ukrainian accent. Yes, that's how I live. I just speak in Russian, so sorry if I say something wrong. The saddest thing for me here is that, you know, in this Ukraine, in 1936, the population is higher than in the modern day Ukraine which has the population around 28-29 million people, and that's really sad. Meanwhile, here we've got population of 38 million people, like we used to have before the Russian invasion. Oh, finally, German forces are leaving Kyiv. Nice! Kyiv German garrison recalled. It's time to act for us, because German forces were staying in Kyiv for more than 18 years. Just imagine, staying in Kyiv for 18 years for no reason. Yeah, it's time to act. And I need to fight against those damn Republicans and leftists in face of uh, Simon Pitlura and Vinichenko. We need to fight those damn national communists. Ivan Ilyich, oh yeah baby, Mikhail Bulgakov, one of my favorite writers is still mentioned in Kaiser Redux universe. At least we can see a few events which are connected with him here. Will Bulgakov be forgiven for such satire? I guess so. Bulgakov is a truly great writer. Poland falls to socialism. They felt not even to the socialism, but totalism. Oh fuck. I just hope that they won't join the Third International Please, because it's gonna be a huge pain in my ass. I mean, in the Central Europe. Russophiles announced support for Skoropatsky, based. Even they support us. And you can actually see that most of the Russophiles mainly situated in the state army. Most of them are people who served in the Russian Imperial Army back then, 20 years ago. Russophiles see him as a true successor of the Imperial Order and lobby a reorientation towards Russia. What the fuck did just happen with Belarus? And who is that? Woman is ruling Belarus? Oh hell no man, where is Alexander Lukashenko instead of woman? Bruh. Minus Belarus. Um, Germany doesn't want to take those lands, so... Well, White Ruthenia or Belarus is gonna be my puppet. That was a huge su surprise for me. But anyway, thank you Kaiser and German Empire for such an opportunity. That's how the true Minsk agreements looks like. What about Russians and their situation? They have elected social liberals. Alright, that's way better than electing Savinkov and NRPR. Explosion on the Dnieper. Yay, our king has died. A tragedy for the nation, really. I'm so upset that this stupid king died, I mean, our great king died. I'm so upset about this fact, you can't even imagine. And we have opened up our new focus tree line and I really like it because, just look at this, it is really, really huge. An uprising of 
Petlura and Winichenko was crashed. The Ukrainian borders are safe. Now our regime is saved. О да, Мишка Япончик, даже, даже Мишку Япончика здесь упомянули. Не, ну ребята вообще красавцы. Респект. Мишка Япончик, if you know, you know. Um, that's cool, that's fine. Cuban Ukrainian 1936 Convention. The Cuban government has finally signed the previously agreed convention between our nations towards full integration of our states. Hmm, the Russian threat. We also need to work on that question and we need to build a great defense line and prepare our forces to war with Moscow and Petrograd. Cause I don't trust Germans that they can defend us from Russians. The Russian Republic has never truly accepted an independent Ukraine. The goal of Ukrainian armed forces now and always will be keeping the Russian threat at bay. I'm also working on our relationships with Cuban to fully integrate them by year 1938 or year 1939. Cause come on, expanding here is one of my main missions in our today's campaign. Just a Japanese lab dog. That's all that I can say about Far Eastern Republic of Transamur. Meanwhile, Mongolia became Russo Mongolia. Why am I not surprised at all? Also, I can say that Ukrainian update is a good one. I really love new mechanics, new gameplay of Ukraine, and I can really recommend to all of you to try and play your own Ukrainian campaign. Horrors of the socialism have even reached Switzerland. No, they don't even name themselves as Switzerland. No, they are Helwitic commune. Ah, goodbye, my lovely Switzerland. Goodbye, my love. Goodbye. Um, good news, Kuban became our puppet, so Russians can't attack them, so if they attack Kuban, they are gonna fight with the whole Rex Pact, so they won't attack our Kuban. And finally, in 14 days, we are gonna annex them. Let's fucking do it. And we also opened our foreign policy focus through line, a certain national vision. For centuries the Ukrainian people were divided not only by rivers and mountains, but by borders, religions and citizenships. The idea of a united Ukraine has spread in the Ukrainian society and almost every truly Ukrainian politician wants the only one seen – Soborna Ukraine or United Ukraine. 22nd of October 1937, Ukraine has officially united with Kban. All I wanna do is to finish the Polish question, because we need to destroy Poland as fast as we can, or they just need to give me Helm and the question will be closed. So yeah, demand Helm, a truly Ukrainian land. Poland denied our ultimatum, then it's war. I think we can destroy them one by one without calling Germany into this war, and also they didn't cover the whole front line, so I can easily go and capture lots of Polish cities. And let's do it. That's gonna be the best option for us. Oh wait, they have forces right here. Holy shit, Polish forces are too weak to stop our offensive. Nice, I didn't expect that. Warsaw in three days? Um, no, but Warsaw in two weeks is real. His Syrian Highness Pan Hetman of all Ukraine. This truly marks a new age of our state. And now the Kingdom of Ukraine will be known as the Ukrainian state. Finally, the kingdom will be dissolved. And we also have changed our flag as well as the portrait of Pavlo Skarpatsky. And if you didn't know, Pavel Skarpatsky was also a high value officer in the Russian Imperial Army. Even when he was a hetman of Ukraine in 1918, when he got the news that Nicholas II was killed by the Bolsheviks, he just went to his room and cried for the whole day. That's a real story. He was really upset because of the Tsar's death and he was depressed for the next week or something like that. Yeah, that's a real history. And he also served together with Mannerheim. So Skrapatsky and Mannerheim were a good friends. Russian Imperial Army united a lot of great people back then. What about Hetman's right hand? Um, we don't need to have a right hand. On the second thought, Hetman shall lead the government himself. Uh, by the way, we have unlocked our new focus through line, because Hetmanists won the majority in our power struggle. 
Despite all odds, the Hetmanist party has won a landslide victory in the recent Soim elections. I don't know why, but even Albanians decided to join the Moscow court. Why the hell do you need Moscow court, Albania? It's not your alliance. At all. Oh shoot, the Second World Krieg is coming closer and closer. 29th of September 1939, the of France declared war on the German Empire and we wish luck to our sugar daddy, um, I mean German Empire. Oh hell no, man. It has gone just two weeks and Germans gave them so much lands. Germany, what the fuck are you doing here? Oh fuck, so Russians decided to, you know, wreck all of us. Um, I didn't expect that, I've got no forces on Kuban, so Kuban is gonna be lost. What about main Ukraine? I'll do my best to hold it. But yeah, goodbye Kuban. Fun fact, Ukrainian forces sound, it's just resounded the uh, voice of Russian forces. The same words, the same phrases, just in Ukrainian. Nah. Oh fuck, we are losing Crimea, we need to do something with that. But today Crimea isn't gonna be lost. The war against Russians is going pretty well for us, cause we are liberating our eastern lands, Russians trying to attack us, but their attempts are unsuccessful. Oh no, Mikhail Bulgakov passes away. Rest in peace, great writer. Today, at the age of 49, the Russian writer Mikhail Bulgakov has passed away. <sighs> Rest in peace. Well, am I surprised about our results and successes in our war against Russia and the fact that we have reclaimed our lands back, well, except Staropol? Um, no. Uh, by the way, the funniest scene is that Russians have a huge problem with mobilization. They've got, like, no manpower and a recruitable population of 10%. Meanwhile, we've got only 5%. But I guess that Cuban Arts will be destroyed, because you can see that Kingdom of Canada has some successes in the Union of Britain, Italian Federation has joined the war against Third International, meanwhile Italy was liberated by the French Social Republic, and Germany started to do good on the Western front line. And finally, part of Russian forces are gonna be encircled on Caucasus. With that been done, we will destroy part of the Russian forces which locates here, and also with that, Azerbaijan will be destroyed. Late December 1941, Azerbaijan has capitulated, and now all of those forces are gonna be destroyed. And that means that Caucasus is liberated. Meanwhile, we have lost Kalmykia, but that's not a huge problem. Oh, I forgot to mention that we're destroying Russia from two sides, so Far Eastern Republic do that from the east, and we are doing that together with Germans from the west. Um, we have just signed a peace with the Russians, and I don't know why. Like, I can't agree with that peace, we will start this war again. Um, Belarus gained some lands, um, so I need to gain some lands too. Well, of course I gained Belgorod and Suja, but that's not a lot. Now that looks kinda fair. Oh, and we also gained Azerbaijan. Hell yeah, baby. Second war against Russian Republic. Let's fucking go. Germany have also joined this war. Capturing Moscow for the second time wasn't so interesting. Meanwhile, we have also captured Petrograd and made a small encirclement near Petrograd. I didn't even see a moment when Russia capitulated, it just happened too fast to understand all of that stuff. But anyway, let's take as much Russian lands as we can and I wanna create my own Russia. And that's the way how Russia looks like after partition. Yeah, I know that we've got a strange border on Kukas, but never mind. And Ukraine became really huge. On the east, but on the west we've got problems, cause Galicia Lodomeria, Kingdom of Romania, they exist and hold our territories, so we need to fix that. The first thing that we need to do is solve the Romanian question and claim Bessarabia. And of course we will demand all of Bessarabia. Um, really? They rejected our ultimatum. Hmm, declare a liberation war. Along with that, we are going to destroy Bulgaria and Serbia. So Austrian Empire is gonna be surrounded from the south, east, more east, 
an even north side of it. So we'll have a front line which will start from Krakow and will go right to the Fiume. Let's go boys, we will destroy them just one by one. And the whole Balkans are gonna be in my sphere of influence, while except the Kingdom of Greece which is in Entente. And of course we broke their defense line. It was obvious that we can make it. Gosh, I love war crimes, especially in Serbia. Fuck, I even gave Albania to the Byzantine Empire, but they decided that nah, that's not enough, we need to attack Bulgaria. Now we have the war against the whole Entente. Uh, that's not good, but we have to deal with that. Anyway, we just have to destroy them. Now Germany is at war with Entente too. At least now it's gonna be fair. Um, I don't know why, but West Ukraine has separated from Galicia Lodomeria. I'm glad to see that, but what the fuck did just happen? Maybe we can just annex them right now. It would be really cool to do that. Um, why did you reject to join me peacefully, West Ukrainian People's Republic? Um, now we have to fight with you, sorry man. From that moment, Serbia and Romania officially belongs to Ukrainian state. So everyone who isn't unaccepted here, get a fuck off my property. Finally, the question of the Austrian Empire must be solved in this year or at least in year 1944. That's the maximum. Soon we are going to crush all of those Austrian lapdogs. Austria and Bohemia to Germans, Hungary and Galicia Lodomeria to Ukraine. Fair peace, fair treaty, fair divide between two great nations, Germans and Ukrainians. I'm too lazy to wait for four months just to attack Galicia Lodomeria, so we will do it right fucking now. Good luck, Bruder. <laughs> just look at this, the whole map is red. And we've got Estonia, which is still a neutral country in the Eastern Europe, the only one. Really, the only one neutral country. The closest neutral country to them is Italian Federation and Armenia. Dude, that's gonna be sick. Even right now my progress is insane. And as I told you, we have divided Austrian Empire into two parts, German and Ukrainian. So that's the fate of the Balkans and Eastern Europe. And now, as you can actually see, Ukraine is reunited. So I gave everything to Germans and now the population of whole Ukraine is 75 million people living in the great Ukrainian state. Wow, 75 million people. It's like the population of the modern Germany. Well, the population of the modern Germany is around 8 million people. But nevertheless, 75 million people and those lands is really cool too. This campaign and Estonian participation in it was really insane.